Hi, old folks. This is Max from Galaxy. Um, no, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com. Um, so I've got uh, AT&T Galaxy uh, Note here, SGHI717. This will also work on Rogers, uh, Bell, and Telus models that are I717R or I717. Anyway, uh, I forgot to make a video on how to install a ROM on your uh, custom ROM on your Galaxy Note here. This is for the AT&T version, so I was going to make a video. Um, very easy to do. Download the ROM zip file. The ROM, ROM file is in a zip format. Do not uncompress. Copy the whole zip file into the SD card or internal storage of your Galaxy Note. All right. And once you've done that, we're going to just hold down volume up, volume down, and the power button and hold it down for about 10 seconds All right. and then when your phone resets you'll uh, feel a little vibration keep holding down the volume up and volume down but let go of the power button and this will enter you into um, clockwork mod recovery there we go and if you don't get this, um, you get something else, this, that's the stock Android recovery. That means you're not rooted or you don't have custom recovery installed. Um, you can go ahead and install it. It's on my site on how to install a uh, recovery for your AT&T Galaxy Note. So once you're here, uh, very easy to do. Uh, make sure you're made a backup and backup and restore um, just in case something goes wrong, right? It's there. Uh, and also, uh, before you install a new custom ROM, make sure to use a titanium backup app to add backup all your apps. And also, um, there's a bunch of SMS uh, backup apps you can use to backup your SMS text messages. Because when you install a custom ROM, you're going to most likely wipe all your personal settings and apps. So once you've done those things, um, wipe data and factory reset. Sometimes, if you're on the same ROM and upgrading to the new version, you might you can skip this uh, step, wipe data factory reset, which will keep your apps and settings. And you can try it without wipe if you don't want to lose data. Um, um, that can actually work. But uh, if you're going from a new uh, stock ROM to a new ROM, that can actually work. You can try it, but if, it, if you get a lot of force closes, you can go back and reinstall the ROM after a wipe. So it's not a big deal. Um, you can try without a wipe, but my suggestion is to do a wipe on every um, new ROM install. So let me do that. Wipe data factory reset. Say yes. And this will basically erase um, your personal settings and apps and whatnot. And then uh, go to install zip from SD card. Um, choose zip from SD card or choose zip from internal SD card. Um, depending on where you copy the ROM files to. Um, I think I copied it to my SD card, so let me choose that. And I usually put my stuff in my download directory. And yes, um, I'm trying to install the only one beta, uh, only one beta one um, ICS ROM that just came out. So let me select the ROM and say yes. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install a ROM. Uh, sometimes, like CM9 and uh, some of the ROMs, they come with G apps separately, which is uh, stands for Google Apps. Um, if you don't install that after installing the ROM, um, you won't get like the Play Store or Gmail and stuff. Um, so if you have two files, install the bigger ROM zip file first, and then um, you don't have to do a wipe. Just just install from zip card again. Find the Google Apps G apps uh, zip file, install it, reboot, and you're all good to go. Uh, but for this one, we only have to install one ROM file since this one comes with Google Apps and uh, it's going to install. It should take like three or four minutes um, and reboot and we're pretty much uh, done. So I'll be back when this is done. Hi right, folks, so it says installed uh, from SD card is complete. Um, go back and uh, reboot system now. And by the way, don't touch anything else. Um, a lot of people, I never tell them to do this. They'll go into like advanced um, and they'll start messing with partition SD card, fix permissions. Uh, I know some people tell you to do that, but um, seriously, you don't have to touch with anything else. Sometimes you can break your phone if you mess the wrong things. Um, so really stick with install zip from SD card, wipe data uh, factory reset, 
And also, um, if you after installing ROM, if uh, for some reason you end up in a boot loop or it boots, but you can't download any apps from the uh, app market, you can come back to Clockwork Mod Recovery and choose Wipe Cache Partitioned. Right? You can actually do this. This does not harm anything. This is just cache means just temporary space in your phone, and sometimes it gets corrupted, and that's why your phone doesn't boot or you have problems downloading off the Play Store. So I'm just going to do it uh, for fun, um, but you don't have to do this. You, most of the time your ROM will work fine, um, and also you can go to Advanced and do uh, wiped, out, uh, wiped Out the Cache and say yes. This is completely harmless. You can do it anytime. Um, a lot of times it will fix a lot of the problems, but I only do it when I, again, when I can't uh, boot into the new ROM or um, having some problems with Google Play Store, and that will fix it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Don't touch anything else. Um, that's my uh, advice. And uh, reboot system now, and you should be all good to go. Um, I know a lot of you guys are just curious, and you just want to try everything. But by the time you try everything, you break your phone, and you know what? Um, it's best if you just stick with the stuff that works. Um, you know, it's like don't don't break what ain't broken, or you no, know, don't fix what ain't broke, right? So, so I got a boot image for the new ROM. This one actually comes with um, the Galaxy S3 um, TouchWiz and some of the um, apps like the new S Voice and stuff like that. So that's why I'm installing it. And I'll have a review of this ROM um, after this, but I'll wait until this thing actually boots up. And uh, that's how you install a new ROM, and uh, you shouldn't have problems. Um, just um, and there's a lot of rumors going around that uh, there's a lot of uh, Galaxy Notes being bricked or something like that. Um, not with the AT&T, that's with the other Galaxy Note. Um, that's happening from, uh, let me explain real quick uh, while this is doing. It's happening from the um, chain repack, um, one of the newer chain repacks which are basically the Chinese Galaxy Note leaks and they're not really compatible with the international ones and uh, it can it can possibly break your device um, but none of my instructions actually um, ask you to do that um, there is one or two videos that ask you um, Odin a repack but that one is actually an older version so you should be safe um, so just don't install those repacks or any ICS leaks for your um, GTN 7000 not for this one uh, and you should be okay and all the ICS leaks I don't even recommend anyways even for this one um, because there are leaks, there's a lot of bugs, um, and uh, just stick with custom ICS ROMs, and there's no, there's zero chance of breaking. Um, so just know that uh, stick with custom ICS ROMs, and even if the official one comes out, you can always get a custom ROM um, that has the official update in it with root. So there is no reason for you to ever go back um, to stock unless um, you know you're gonna return your phone for a warranty. So just an advice, you don't ever have to um, do that unless you want to return it for a warranty. And uh, this should boot up. Um, but if it gets stuck in this state, it's called a boot loop. And like I said, if you didn't wipe cache and dial the cache, um, you can reboot into recovery. Uh, remember, volume up, volume down, and the power button. And then um, do that last two part, two things I did. Wipe cache and wipe dial the cache and reboot. And sometimes, um, even if you do that, if it doesn't work, you can do a simple reboot and usually it will fix it. But now, um, you can see that my phone booted up. I've success successfully installed a new ROM. Um, if this is the first time you're doing it, um, pat yourself on the back and congratulations and thumbs up, baby. Yeah, thumbs up. Um, so it's just updating the applications. This is the first time running it, um, but it should boot up fine. And that's how I install a ROM um, on the AT&T Galaxy Note. The only thing different with GTN 7000 is the buttons, how to get into the recovery. Otherwise, it's pretty much nearly identical um, for the GTN 7000. It's volume up, center button, and the power button. All right. So I've got the pen. Um, it comes with actually Apex Launcher and TouchWiz. Ooh, this is the new TouchWiz. Anyway, I'll have a review of this. Um, but that was how to install a new custom ROM on your AT&T Galaxy Note SGHI717 or for Rogers, Telus, and Bell. Anyway, thanks you guys. If you have a Galaxy Note, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once 
a week with uh, Rama the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email. And I don't share your email with anyone else but my dog. And uh, if you're on YouTube, um, please hit that like button here. Subscribe to my channel here at High on Android. And also, you can subscribe to my channel, uh, my main channel, Zetomax. And uh, please use that button right there, share button, to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Uh oh, my laundry's on. Anyway, see you guys later. Stay high on Android and later, dude. Oh, yeah.